What? Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something different. I am trying. Now, I believe this was viral maybe a, a few years ago. I'm late to the game, I know, but this is a new product for me. It's that thing that, it's a brush cleaner, right? And you fill this up with water and it comes with, not comes with, we had to get soap and you put the brush in here and it like spins it really fast. And I've heard mixed things about it. Some people say it ruins your brushes. Some people say it cleans them so easily. So I'm gonna try it today and let's see what happens. I did not read the instructions. I probably should. And we're using the Miss Rose Professional Makeup Cleaner. It looks like this. And I'm just gonna, I filled this up, um, this little fish bowl. I filled it up to the max line and now I'm just gonna like, I don't know, squeeze some soap in it. I don't know how much, oh, this is hard to do. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. It smells good. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really pretty. It's hard to come out though. Yeah, I don't know how much of that to put in there. Wait, I need to get a better grip. Ooh, squeeze. Okay. I feel like that was a lot, but who knows? I'm gonna try and take some of my dirtiest brushes today and try it out. Like there's this one here. This was white. Um, I believe this is from a failed recreating a James Charles makeup look kind of deal. So I'm excited to clean this one. And another one, like it's like blue, but it's supposed to be light brown. Like, ew. I like don't use them a lot, like because what is this? There's so many pieces. Um, I stay away from those brushes because they're dirty instead of cleaning them, which is not good. I should just clean them. So this is a good excuse to clean my brushes. It comes with a bunch of different size like handles. So let's see if I can find one that's good for that one because I'm really excited to see. Does this fit in here? Yes, this fits in here. And then I put it in here. No. Am I missing another piece? Maybe I should read the instructions? I have no clue. Wait a second. Is there, am I missing something? Maybe I should read the instructions. One, this is not a toy. Great. Is this gonna be hard? Okay, how do I get it? I did that, no? Not, not what I did? Okay, this is a stand. It comes with a stand and you put that in there and then it has all the little heads that'll fit all the br different um, brush sizes. Does it need batteries? I'm gonna scream. <gasps> it needs batteries. Not prepared. Oh my God. Okay, let me go get some batteries. We have batteries, triple A batteries to be exact. But now how do I get this on here? Oh, it's in the wrong end. I have it in the wrong end of the thing. Okay, yeah, that's too tiny. That's too tiny. Okay. Okay. Let's take them all out. I had it in the wrong end of the thing. And this goes in here. This goes in here. Somehow. Okay, it's in. All right, now let's see. I just up and down in the liquid for like five seconds start to spin once it's in the liquid is this gonna spin oh oh my god okay stop can you see that okay so we put it now this is water oh my god i'm scared this is water and soap in here and then we stick this in i'm gonna like mix it up a little bit mix up the water and the soap and i'm gonna spin it Oh, it's great. Okay. Well, it smells really pretty once it was being mixed and everything. And then they say once you mix it, because you move it up and down in the water. Oh my God. Why does this thing suck? Oh, I wasn't pushing it in enough. Okay. Okay. So you move this thing up and down in the water. Look at that. Oh my God. It smells really good. Does it smell like rose? 
and then you lift it out of the water but still keep it in the container and it's supposed to like dry itself. So right now, I don't know if you can see, but it's like not actually touching the water and it's just spinning dry. Okay, it's soft and dry. Oh, and it was just, it just looked a little funky when I took it out. It's probably, this is gonna be stained because this was blue for a long time. And it's dry. It's clean because no blue is coming off of my hand. It's probably just stained. And it needs to be like played with a little bit to get it back to its original shape because spinning it kind of messed it up. But it's still usable. Like it didn't like destroy my brush like some other people were saying. Okay, that's really nice. I'm kind of sad that it is still blue, but I mean, it's clean and that's all I could have asked for. I wanna try my foundation brush. I feel like that'll be a good one to try. Everything's really being shoved in there. Okay, let's take a look at it, not in the water. Oh, okay. And now I think you would change the water after like every couple brushes. We're just, we're just trying this out today. This isn't, I mean, maybe if this works, I'll clean the rest of my brushes, but I'm not changing the water after every brush. So I'm gonna dip it in. I'm gonna swoosh it around a little bit. Okay, and spin. Oh my God, I wish you guys could like see this. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it that well. Ew, it feels weird. Okay, I'm gonna, oh my God. It's like a whirlpool in here, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna lift it out of the water. Oh wait, can you even see? That's crazy, I'm gonna lift it out of the water so it can spin dry. This smells bomb. They should really make like, oh, I can't shut it off. Oh my God. They should really, there's a hole in it. What? They should really make like a scent of whatever this thing smells. Like this smells so good. Oh, my hand is shaking. Okay, wait, it needs to dry a little more. I'm putting it back in the bowl because I don't want water to get everywhere. Okay, it's dry. It's kind of clean. I think I'm gonna add more soap and like do it again. You should see me do my brushes normally. Compared to how I normally do my brushes, this is easy. Like it'll take me like two hours to clean all my brushes like thoroughly because I have this little thing that I slip on my fingers and it's like got grooves in it and you wet it, you put like, I put regular hand soap because I don't know what to use and I'm just scrubbing for two hours. So this is better than that. I'm gonna dip, dip, spin. Let's see if a little more soap and another turn will like get it really clean. I feel like foundation brushes are always the hardest to clean. Like the foundation just gets soaked into no matter what you put it on, a brush, a sponge, the foundation soaks in. Okay, I'm gonna let it air dry. Oh my God, it's super wide. Oh my God, super vibrating. Okay. It still feels like there's residue on it. Like maybe, I mean, it looks better. Well, not looks, but the color, I mean like, that's like the normal color it should be. But maybe like, this is probably good to get like the starter out of it, if that makes sense. Like like to get the initial clean going, like this is probably, this is good. I like this because it's way easier than, um, it's way easier than doing it by hand for sure. I wanna try another one. Something that's like odd shaped because I wanna see what it'll do, like this one. This one's a flat brush and it's supposed to be flat and it's got blue all over it. Let's see. And I'm doing this in my bedroom and it's not making a mess. So I'm considering that a big win. I was like nervous that I was gonna make a mess with all of this, but there's maybe one drop of water on my desk. Yeah, there's only like one drop of water. And for what this is doing, I think that's pretty good. Cause normally I'm just like hovering over the sink in my bathroom. But the fact that I'm cleaning my brushes in my bedroom and not making a mess, that says a lot. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna mix it around. 
Can you see it? This one's a lot smaller of a brush. So like it's not, oh, splashing. It's not gonna make like the big waves that my foundation brush did. Oh my God, but this vibration thing is really powerful. Like my hand is like going numb. Okay, and now, I'm, oh, I got my mouth. Okay, now I'm gonna lift it out of the water and let it dry. All right, maybe this is my problem because like my brushes are definitely stained. I definitely left the blue on this like for way too long. Like maybe over a month. Oh no. So it's definitely stained, but it's clean, which is nice. Cause I guess that's really all that matters. The staining's gonna happen. Like makeup even stains your face. If you like have a certain product on for too long, like certain eyeshadows that are certain colors, like to get like really good purples and yellows and really bright pinks a lot of those eyeshadows are pigments and not necessarily eyeshadows. They're different formulas. So to get the bright colors, they have to be straight pigment. And straight pigment sometimes will stain your face the way that like this blue and purple like stained my brush. So it makes sense. But as long as it's clean, I'm not mad. Here, let's do another one here. Let's, let's do this one because, oh, this one is a white brush that just has some like orangey pinks on them but it's light, so I'm hoping like, and this is like newly dirty, so I'm hoping that it'll like come out and like we'll be able to see a clean brush today. Or not clean, like just not stained. A not stained brush would be nice. It kind of sounds like if you have like one of those frothers, like if you froth milk like for your coffees and stuff, it kind of sounds like that. I don't have one of those, but I'm imagining that that's what it sounds like. Cause it's the same idea. All right, I'm already looking at it and the brush is still pink, but I know it's gonna be clean. So I guess that's all that matters. I guess this technically does work and doesn't ruin all your brushes. Hmm, okay. Oh wait, maybe it's not as pink as I thought. Oh no, it still is. Pfft. One can dream, right? But it, it's clean and it's dry and I just had it in water two seconds ago. That doesn't look good. No, that really, that's not what this brush looks like. Maybe if I like squish it back into shape, like. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try one more big brush, my bronzer brush. Cause again, it used to be. Yeah, I don't know why I'm surprised at this point that I'm dropping everything. I need like an in-between. The sizes are so weird and not consistent. Okay, so again, before, it's dirty. There are a few flyaways here, but like, I guess that's normal. Like I've had these brushes for a while now. Cause these are like the Jaclyn Hill collection brushes. Like if you know this collection, I've had them for as soon as they came out. So I don't know like what the life expectancy of a brush is, but I hope this doesn't ruin this. I really like this bronzer brush. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, wait, let me pick this up for you. I'm gonna dip it in the water. Oh. The big brushes don't go as fast as the little brushes do, I think because they're heavier. But this isn't, oh. Oh, there we go. I think I had it too close to the bottom. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking, but I don't want to stop. Oh my God. It smells phenomenal in here though. Honestly, just buy the soap and like, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but like make an air fresher out of it, make a candle. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to take it out of the water. It spilled like everywhere. Why is it spilling? Oh my God. Well, I'm going to finish down here because I don't know why it's spilling. Wait, I'm gonna spin it out here. Oh my God. Okay, I feel it. It's like the water's coming off of it. But look, it's flat. This brush shouldn't look like this. Oh my God. Feels nice though. It's like a nice breeze. Oh my God. It's like crack or something. They put crack in here. Aww. 
All right, I guess I can't complain. It still feels like there's like stuff on here. I guess for the more, more stubborn brushes, oh, I did the, this is the one I did already. For the more stubborn brushes, I guess this is good because it's definitely way less effort than me, again, standing over the sink for two hours doing this by hand. So I guess it's worth it that way. But yeah, honestly, I would get this just because this smells so good. Again, it's Miss Rose Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. And it looks like this. It smells so good. Oh my God, that's crazy. I've never, it's probably just Rose, but it's like more than that. It's not just Rose. There's something else in there. I don't know what it is. This kind of reminds me of like fish bowls you get at the bar. Oh, I miss the bar. And this is disgusting looking, but that's okay. Okay, and it comes with a holder. So there's a black little holder and then, here, let's see if you can see that way. This is the thing that makes it shake. And these are all the different sizes for all the different brushes. Yeah, there's eight different brush sizes here and they have them all on here. I mean, like this one says seven millimeters. I don't know what brush is seven millimeters, but I guess if you do, that's helpful. But yeah, overall, I would approve this because did it get them 100% clean? If you need a quick fix, if you're in a rush, I would definitely think this is better than nothing because it, if anybody has a lot of brushes like I do, they know it takes a long time. Like it takes like a whole day to clean them and then like another day and a half to let them sit out and dry. It takes forever. So if you need something quick and easy, I do recommend this. This was makeup brush cleaner, portable electronic automatic. Okay, that's all it says. The brand looks like that, excuse the garbage. And the soap looked like that. I think when my mom got this for me for Christmas, it she found it in the same place. So if you find this, you can find this or vice versa. But I would recommend it because if you do need something quick and easy, this is good. But yeah, I had a lot of fun trying this out. I think I'll definitely use it. It's not a flop, but it's not my favorite. But I mean, I would definitely use this. It's helpful. And I can't stress enough. Wait. Ah, oh, I can't stress enough how good this smells. So even if you get it just for this and clean your brushes by hand and just get this soap, it's so good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.